Have you wondered why you don't build good habits to improve your life? It's because you are lazy and not disciplined enough, is what you might be telling yourself. What if I told you that's not the case? A philosopher once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So why do we not do our good habits even though we know it will change our lives? If you're like most people, there's a difference between who you are and who you want to be. There are small and big changes you need to make to build habits that stick to become your better self. If you want to be healthier, you need to eat, sleep, and exercise regularly. If you want more time for your goals and hobbies, you might need to spend less time on TikTok and mindlessly scrolling on your phone. It can seem like you need a lot of discipline to make the necessary changes, but it doesn't have to be hard. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to start building habits in a few days and how anyone can apply it into their life. I'll also show you how you can trick your brain to enjoy and remember to do the habits. But first, let me tell you why you're not lazy and don't need discipline to build good habits. To start, I'm going to show you why it's so hard to build good habits and how to do it no matter who you are and how your life is. My life wasn't going well. I was not healthy. I didn't sleep enough, I didn't eat properly, and I didn't even do any physical activity. At a certain point, I started eating cup noodle and cereal every single day. It was terrible, but it wasn't always this bad. I used to be very active. I used to go outside and play for hours every single day, and I always ate healthy. I knew this wasn't the type of person I wanted to be, but how did it get to this point? When I was young, I lived in a friendly community near a park and a basketball court. My mom always made sure I ate well, so it was very easy to be healthy. Everything changed when I moved house and I started going to college as I got older. Every habit has a cue, craving, response, and a reward. For the example of me eating cereal and cup noodle every day, the cue is being hungry, the craving is cereal or cup noodle, the response is eating the food, and the reward is not being hungry anymore. A habit can also be a cue for another habit. If boredom is the cue for you to go on TikTok, and TikTok is the cue for you to go lie on the sofa, you will end up wasting a lot more time than you plan, and it will make it so much harder for you to do what you need to do. Everything you do comes from the routine and habits built by what is convenient in your environment. That is why it can be hard to build good habits. It's not because you don't have discipline and you're lazy. Here are two steps I used to build a better environment for my habits. I wanted to add some physical activity to my life. My brother bought this pull-up bar you see right behind me. So I decided I would do 10 pull-ups a day because that was something easy to start with. But I wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be. This is because there was no cue. So I needed a way to be automatically reminded to do the habit every single day. A good way to do this would be to combine the habit with something I already do daily in a convenient way. Something I already do daily right next to my pull-up bar is use my PC. So a better way to do this would be to put the headphone on the pull-up bar so that I'm automatically reminded to go towards the pull-up every single day. This will make it easier and obvious as I have to go towards the pull-up bar every time I want to use my PC. You can do the exact opposite for bad habits. Let's say you have a bad habit of eating too many unhealthy snacks. How can we make that harder and invisible? The best way to do that would be to stop buying those snacks and fill up your house with healthier alternatives. This will become your new craving as it is easier to eat healthy than to go outside and buy some snacks. If I can't do that, I will put it somewhere I won't check and somewhere that is super hard to reach, like the top of one of the cabinets of the kitchen. Make your desired habits easy and obvious by setting up your environment in a simple way that reminds you to do the habit. Eventually, I ended up doing pull-ups every single day, which is progress towards a good direction. But I ended up forgetting the point of the pull-ups. It was to be healthier and in better shape. To do that, I need to scale my daily pull-ups into a workout. I was satisfied with my pull-ups because my goal wasn't really specific. I just wanted to be in better shape. And doing pull-ups technically gets you in better shape, but not that much. So I needed a concrete plan to reach my goals. So what is the task? When am I doing it? Where am I doing it? And how long am I doing it for? When you think of a specific task, think of it in terms of the quantity, the behavior, the time, and the location. I will do quantity of behavior in location at time. For example, I will do two sets of 10 push-ups at 5 p.m. in my room. Consistency is key when it comes to building habits. It might seem hard to keep it going, but that's why you want to start easy so that you keep the consistency. You will see that oftentimes motivation comes after you start. This is another reason why you, you want to start with an easier version of the workout so that you, you can actually start and build the habit. And once you're used to it, you escalate it into something you're actually satisfied with. Sometimes you might have a bad day or life gets busier, but that's when it's very important to show up even if you're going to do less because that's how you're going to make your good habits stick and become part of your routine. If your goal is to do four sets of exercise three times a week, the easy version can be 
two sets of 10 push-ups at 5 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Whatever is easy enough for you to do consistently. Maybe in a week or two you get used to it. Then you can add a set and keep increasing until you reach your goal. You can always change your goal as it gets easier and your standards change. So we make an environment that makes your desired habits easy and obvious, and we set precise tasks that will slowly grow to meet your goal. But there's still two parts to the habit loops that we can use to our advantage to make the habits automatic. And there are a few tricks to reprogram your brain. We made an environment that is obvious so that we have a cue, and we made it easy so that we have a response. But there's still nothing that helps with the craving or the reward. So that's what we're gonna do. For example, I made my desired habit of jogging easy and obvious by only jogging for two minutes and getting my clothes ready and putting it somewhere visible the night before. I will add the craving aspect to this activity. So for me, that would be putting music or a podcast while I'm jogging. Whatever you add, make sure it doesn't distract you from actually doing the habit. Another thing that makes it attractive is associating it with a positive experience. Always think of the benefits of the desired habits instead of how hard it's going to be. In this example, you would think of how you get to strengthen your muscles and keep a healthy weight instead of, oh, I have to go for a jog, such a pain. After doing the habit with this mindset for a few days, it will change the way you see the task and it will make it part of the craving. For the reward aspect, you want to make sure it's something that doesn't contradict your goals. Don't eat junk food to reward yourself if your goal is to lose weight. A better reward would be to stack it with something you enjoy or using a habit tracker and keeping the streak alive by crossing it off consistently. It's all about finding a system that works for you. Think about what you usually do and try to stack the desired habits with the habits that you already do. I usually shower after work, so I find it convenient to exercise before I shower. So in this case, I stack my desired habits of exercising with the habit of showering after work. For you, that can be putting your phone under the bed before you sleep so that it makes making daily push-ups in the morning easier and obvious. Find a creative way to make your environment help you build good habits. A good way to reinforce your habit is to find and join a place where that habit is a norm. Like going to the gym if you want to work out. But it's not always possible to find an environment that will help you build your good habits. But you can still change what surrounds you and what you see. If you always watch self-improvement content, it will be easier for you to change. If you always hang around with friends who eat junk food, it's going to be harder for you to eat healthy. When you think of self-improvement, it can be overwhelming because the options for what to improve can seem endless. Having too many choices leads to paralysis and dissatisfaction. Watch this video to learn five habits that have the biggest effects on your health and happiness.